that's another good one. What's up, guys? So, here at the shop, hope everybody's having a great weekend. Hope you guys uh, set your clocks an hour ahead. You lost an hour. But uh, just wanted to do a quick one on uh, smartphone apps and uh, how it could help us as mechanics. I'm sure you guys, people out there, I'm sure you guys use them or at least have one or another that, you know, either, uh, you know, maybe helps you do your job, whether it's uh, inches to millimeter conversion table or, you know, one of those uh, torqued apps for scanning cars, for those wireless scanners or anything. But uh, I got a couple on my phone, obviously, that I've been using for years. And this is outside of, obviously, your normal website-based ones or your serv subscription service ones like All Data, Mitchell, Identifix, you know, anything that you guys are using at the independent shop or dealer sites and things like that. But there is a world of apps that will help us do our job and not only get information off of, but uh, a good one I use is obviously to convert inches into millimeters, measuring rotors and things like that. Um, I like to go by just inches. I don't really measure. And then when you look up a rotor, you know, they want to know it in millimeters. Um, they got estimate ones late for labor costs for you mobile mechanics or guys that don't have that. You're trying to give a price. You can kind of quickly look it up, pull up an app, quickly look it up, let a customer know kind of what to expect as far as what the labor is going to take doing their car, whether it's a brake job, alternator, anything like that. They got apps for that. And just a bunch of different ones. But we're going to check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so I'm actually going to leave the camera like this. I'm actually just waiting for my computer to boot up and uh, finish up some paperwork. But like I said, I want to wrap this up. I actually stuck these all on one screen on my fancy Android phone here. But just kind of going through some of them here. I'm um, pretty sure maybe some of you guys have heard of some of these. You got the, even the basic ones. You got Carfax app, um, Garage Buddy, Gas Buddy is another good one for this industry obviously nice one pretty sure you guys heard of that I got the typical Napa ones they got a real nice one here this is the free version but you could scan a VIN off a car and the VIN number will pop up so that way if you're whatever uh, invoicing system you're using whether it's our writer I use Napa tracks you know you get the VIN that way you don't gotta write it on a scratch piece of paper and you could link this to a lot of the invoice systems and it'll go right to if you link it up it'll go right to it you could scan the VIN that's a nice one um, another couple here, the one I mentioned is the uh, inches to millimeters, pretty easy one. You know, obviously you measure a rotor, you can clear it out. We'll get a, we get the app, you put, go in this box here, measure it in inches, 11 inches. Here we go, hold on. Clear. 11 inches and then it converts it over to, you know, 279.4 millimeters or if it's 11 and 3 quarters. It'll tell you 298 for a lot of those German cars and things like that when you get your measurement in millimeters. That's a real neat app. They also have other ones to convert, you know, centimeters to inches and you can get fractions, get your fraction out if you're, if you're measuring brake line or fuel line or something like that. Um, another good one is the, obviously uh, Boroscope app. This one I don't no longer use. I actually gave this tool away, but this app's still on here. Um, you know, you plug in, it's for, smart, for a smartphone, you plug it in. And you could get a camera, a boroscope camera, things like that. It's another great app. I will cancel, go out. There we go. Go back to it. A couple more. Obviously, you got to have the Snap-on Tool app, the catalog. This is a this is a big app, so make sure your phone has the memory for it. But you can go through. You guys know I like my Snap-on, so got to have the Snap-on app on there. And then a couple other ones here. Uh, talked about the gas buddy. Here's the torqued one. I actually paid for this one because those are great little wireless or Bluetooth scanners. You go on there and then just got your app based map view. You could actually hook this up to a tablet and plug that little dongle in your car and have all your readings, all your readouts on there, any gauges you don't have, you could have on there. It shows you live and all that stuff. Another great app to have. And most of these are free apps in the marketplace. Here's the repair estimate I was telling you guys about get a quick estimate on these vehicles you go to just go by year you know 2014 Acura MDX 
and then it'll give you all your service reminders and all that stuff what comes up asking me if I'm an independent shop but it'll give you your estimates kind of quick estimates for customers and all that stuff or if you don't know the book time it calls for a certain job you can look it up off of here another great one is uh, and obviously these apps have ads in them so unless you're buying paying for it another great one is the uh, oil reset app especially working in an independent shop you know you got those cars there you can't figure out how to reset the oil light and things like that most of them I try to remember but then you get those ones that are kinda hard but you kinda go to it we'll go 5 series BMW and it just gives you the rundown on how to reset the oil light and things like that I got this app loaded up I don't use it on my phone too much but I got it loaded up on the the shop tablet out there me and my wife use it a lot like I said most of them I try to remember and I know on some of the Mercedes and BMWs you do it through a scanner it's just a little bit easier but yeah it's a couple of them here I mean some great ones um, obviously your Napa you can get a quick price on uh, parts and things like that you want to look up a quick uh, you know you're giving a quick estimate or you're looking up a part load the app up it's a lot better than going to the website and things like that so so yeah guys just a quick rundown on a couple of apps that I use um, and a funny story actually what Breathe brought this up and figured I could make a video on it is uh, last week we had a real windy day here and I came to the shop and noticed my power went out the power was on when I got here but the computers were giving me issues all day I got calls coming in gotta give estimates I can't get on my computer at and T's here trying to fix the computers and all that stuff so I just busted out the old smartphone and was able to kinda have the show go on so but a lot of these are nice also they got apps in there for uh, for codes you want a quick uh, you get a code maybe that you're not used to seeing or a code that you're not familiar with you could punch in the code whether it's you know powertrain or ABS or anything like that it'll give you a brief description of it kinda of what to look out for kinda of where testing it goes there's a whole world of them out there guys but just wanted to make a quick one obviously none of these apps are sponsored Obviously none of these apps are sponsoring the channel or anything like that, but I just figured throw a little bit of knowledge your guys' way. But just a quick one, guys. You're out there, busy shop. You know, break out the old smartphone and uh, hop on a couple of these apps, load up a few of these apps, get you through these uh, diags on the car and things like that, get you some information, especially if you got a co-work, if you guys got to share a terminal or a computer in the shop and you got, you know, you got one of the guys you work with using up the computer and you got to get to it real fast. Like I said, they're worth checking out. Some of these apps are worth checking out. So... That's it, guys. Just a quick one. I got to wrap this up. Head on home. I got some errands to run. But like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.